Well, I've been a good boy today. I've done all my chores. I cooked dinner, took the kids to soccer, cleaned up the house, did a bit of auto work, and got my workout on. That means it's time for a reward beer, and I'm looking for something refreshing today. So, where am I going to go to acquire said beer? I'm going to go to Otter Creek Brewing out of Middlebury, Vermont, U.S. of A. Yay, yay! And I'm going to have their Fresh Slice. Now, Fresh Slice is a Belgian IPA or a white IPA. Why? Because it's sort of a fusion style. And the brewery and the brewers say that specifically it's sort of a, a fusion beer. This beer clocks in at 5.5% ABV and 45 IBUs. So kind of session range. Maybe I'll find an awesome session beer to drink up and crush down multiples of because I think this also comes in a can. Anyway, what do we need to know about this beer? Well, it's a fusion beer, one, because they're using Belgian yeast and they're making it like an IPA that they're even dry hopping. So speaking of hops, they're using Cascade and Citra in this. Now, for adjuncts, which wit beers are all about besides the wheat and malt and different things they put in there, they're using clementine juice, sweet orange peel, and coriander. I like all those things in a beer. A lot of people like them in beers kind of like Blue Moon, but I'm hoping this will be amplified. So they also say that this beer is probably going to be cloudy and maybe have chunks in it because they intend it to be unfiltered and just like they're drawing it off the fermenter and drinking it at the brewery. So let's see if it lives up to the hype, Brewmaster Mike. That's the guy who's like the brewmaster and says on the bottle and stuff. Anyways, get the top popped. Boom. Nice hiss off the top. Obsessively collectible crown. Let's get in the glass. Mm, I can already smell the hops wafting off the top of this. By the way, this is super duper fresh. The bottling date's right on the front here. And it is two and a half weeks old at time of recording. I was going to try this last year. Wow, big orange. Mm, I was going to try this last year, but I didn't get to it fresh. So we're going at it this year. It is cloudy, just like they say, and there's little particles and kind of chunks from, I guess, the dry hopping floating in there. And adjuncts and things. We're about a finger and a half of super tightly packed, pretty much white, almost eggshell bubbles when I swirl it. Yeah, we're going to get glass slicing on this bad boy. And there's even a, wow, even a touch of alcohol legs on this. But look at that, guys. Really inviting. Looks like a unfiltered IPA or a wheat beer you just pulled into a, poured into a glass, half a bites and things of that sort. Let's get a nose on this glass and see what's up with the aroma. Coriander greets you first. Wow, then that big clementine juice sweetness, tangerine-like. Wow, big citrusy playing with the hops and also the adjuncts. Bit of herbal aroma, yeasty spice in the background, like hefeweizen and yeast spice, maybe a bit of banana. Wow, peppery spice from the yeast, coriander, orange peel. Then you got the hops in there, herbal effect from the hops, a bit of pine going in there, and tons of orange on this nose. Orange, tangerine, wow, this smells really good and refreshing. I'm diving in, guys. Cheers! Mm. Man, awesome glass slicing, as I suspected. The first thing that greets you up in the front with this beer is that yeast spice from the Belgian yeast. That hits you full on. After that, you get citrus from the tangerine juice and orange peel. A bit of that coriander is in there as well. Wow, real balanced flavors. It's got like, like a nice honey sweetness in it as well. A bit of breadiness from the malt. Well balanced, but big flavors front to back for such a low ABV beer. Super easy to drink. It's like, it's like drinking a, a pumped up Hefeweizen almost, but a lot spicier yeast. That's the main dominating character. I'm getting that yeast spice feel on the side of my tongue. Dankness from the hops, real mild dankness, like some pininess in there. And that orange flavor is going front to back in your mouth as you sit and you take a few more drinks and it rests on your palate. But wow, really tasty beer. This would be a great beer really in cans, not just because you know I'm digging it, but it would be a great beer in cans to have outside when you're at the grill or the beach or outdoors to crush a few of because it's five and a half percent so it's not going to totally crush you unless you're a totally new, you know, craft beer drinking noob, but really tasty brew. What are we going to grade a beer like this? Right beer is giving it an 84. I can see that because this is this style isn't going to be for everybody because I, I think of the the flavor forward nature of the Belgian component in this, the yeast strain is quite pronounced and that's not going to be for everybody. If you dig Hefeweizen as the real German ones that have a bigger, more pronounced yeast character and spice coming off of it and Belgian IPAs, this will be a beer for you. Um, what about uh, Beer Advocate? They're giving it 83. Basically the same reasons I can see that going on. But myself, I think this is a better beer than that. I'm going to give this a, a full on, like, I think I'm going to give it A-. minus. 
It's very well made for a low ABV beer. It's very flavorful. I don't know how this ages. Wheat beers in general don't age well, but and you know some of the adjuncts will fade. But as this is really fresh, I think it's very well made. It's not a big mind blower, but for what it is, um, I'm going to give it the A minus because it's got a real big flavor package in a small ABV or B, ABV format. There's not a hint of alcohol in the flavor, and it has a nice medium body. It's not thin and watery. So you feel like you're drinking a beer, but you're not going to get crushed down by big alcohol. So that's what I think. Have you had this beer? Let me know. I like the quid pro quo. I like hearing other people's opinions because I don't know everything. Well, no, I don't know everything. My, my wife tells me that, too. And i got to remember that. Anyways, <laughs> to the next DJ's Brew 2, I also got to remember to ask you to do something, which is think globally, drink locally, and support the craft beer movement. Also, if this is your first time watching, please hit that sub button. Also, please remember to rate, comment, and smash that like button. So, <sighs> to the next DJ's Brew 2, I'm going to kick back, enjoy the chilling out part of my day, drink the rest of this brew, and give you, you know what's that's coming up. Are you ready? A big peace out!